There have been many extremely large explosions caused accidentally and intentionally. The largest explosions that we know of are mostly man-made, but of course some of them are natural, like volcanic eruptions and asteroid impact. In this video, we've compiled a list of 15 biggest explosions that occurred in Earth's history. Trinity Trinity was the code name for the first nuclear device detonation in history. It was carried out by the United States Army as a part of the Manhattan Project at 5.29 a.m. on July 16, 1945. The test was conducted in the desert about 35 miles southeast of Socorro in New Mexico. The device used was a plutonium implosion fission, yielding about 20 to 22 kilotons of TNT. Nagasaki at 11.2 a.m. August 9, 1945, three weeks after the Trinity test, a second atom bomb known as Fat Man was dropped on Japan by the United States at Nagasaki, resulting finally in Japan's unconditional surrender. The system device use was the same as that of Trinity. It was estimated that it had a blast yield of 21 kilotons with a blast radius up to 3 miles and a mushroom cloud over 30,000 feet. Nuclear Tests 158 and 168 On 25th August and September 19, 1962, less than a month apart, the USSR conducted nuclear tests 158 and 168. Both tests were held over the Novaya Zemlya region of Russia, an archipelago to the north of Russia near the Arctic Ocean. No film or photographs of the tests have been released, but both tests included the use of 10 megaton atomic bombs. Ivy Mike On November 1, 1952, the United States conducted a test of Ivy Mike over the Marshall Islands. The world's first hydrogen bomb, Ivy Mike, had a yield of 10.4 megatons, and the detonation of Ivy Mike was so powerful that it vaporized the island where it was detonated, leaving behind a 164 foot deep crater. The mushroom cloud created by the explosion traveled 30 miles into the atmosphere. Castle Romeo Romeo was the second U.S. nuclear detonation of the Castle series of tests, which were conducted in 1954. All of the detonation took place over Bikini Atoll, and Castle Romeo was the third most powerful test of the series and had a yield of 11 megatons. Romeo was the first device to be tested on a barge over open water instead of a reef, as the U.S. was quickly running out of islands upon which it could test nuclear weapons. The blast would have incinerated everything within 1.91 square miles. Test 123 In 1961, the Soviet Union ran a series of nuclear tests. One of the biggest was on October 23, 1961, known as Nuclear Test 123 over Novaya Zemlya. Test 123 used a 12.5 megaton nuclear bomb, and a bomb of this size would incinerate everything within 2.11 square miles while causing third-degree burns in an area of 1,309 square miles. No footage or photographs of this nuclear test have been released. Castle Yankee Castle Yankee was the code name given to one of the tests in the Operation Castle series of American tests of thermonuclear bombs. It was originally intended as a test of a TX-16 EC-16 jughead bomb, but the design became obsolete after the Castle Bravo test was successful. It released energy equivalent to 13.5 megatons of TNT, the second largest yield ever in a US fusion weapon test. Castle Bravo Detonated on March 1, 1954, the device was the most powerful nuclear device detonated by the United States. Castle Bravo's yield was 15 megatons of TNT. The mushroom cloud reached a height of 47,000 feet and a diameter of 7 miles in about a minute, a height of 130,000 feet or 40 kilometers, and 62 miles or 100 kilometers in diameter. The crater left behind has a diameter of 6,510 feet and a depth of 250 feet. Nuclear Test 147, 173 and 174 From 5th August to September 27, 1962, the USSR conducted a series of nuclear tests over Novaya Zemlya. 
Test 173, 174 and 147 all stand out as being the 7th, 6th and 5th strongest nuclear blast in history. All three produce blasts of about 20 megatons or about 1,000 times as strong as the Trinity bomb. A bomb of this strength would incinerate everything within three miles, but no footage or photographs of these nuclear tests have been released. Nuclear Test 219 On December 24, 1962, the USSR conducted Test 219 over Novaya Zemlya. The bomb had a yield of 24.2 megatons. A bomb of this strength would incinerate everything within 3.58 square miles while causing third-degree burns in an area up to 2,250 square miles. Again, there are no released photos or videos of this explosion. Tsar Bomba on 30th October 1961, the USSR detonated the largest nuclear weapon ever tested and created the biggest man-made explosion in history. The blast was 3,000 times as strong as the bomb used on Hiroshima and could break windows 560 miles away. The flash of light from the blast was visible up to 620 miles away. The Tsar bomber, as the test was ultimately known, had a yield between 50 and 58 megatons. Mount Tambora In 1815, Mount Tambora in Indonesia exploded with a force of roughly 1,000 megatons of TNT, the largest volcanic eruption in recorded history. The blast killed more than 71,000 people on the island of Sumbawa and nearby Lombok, but the ash it released created global climate anomalies. The following year, 1816, became known as the year without a summer, with snow falling in June in Albany, river ice seen in July in Pennsylvania, and hundreds of thousands of people dying of famine worldwide. KT Extinction the biggest explosion on Earth so far is the KT extinction, which led to dinosaur extinction and is widely thought to have been a cosmic impact with an asteroid or comet some 6 miles wide, exploding with a force of roughly 10,000 gigatons of TNT or some 1,000 times the size of the world's nuclear arsenal. The collision would have blanketed the world with dust, ignited global firestorms and triggered tsunamis thousands of feet high. A vast crater roughly 110 miles or 180 km wide at Chicxulub on the coast of Mexico may be the blast site. And that's it from the buzz for today. Thank you guys for viewing in. Bye-bye.